Cain refused the sacrifice. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Vladimir. So I really hope you enjoyed the little trip down memory lane as much as I enjoyed making it for you. For those of you that were fans of the Soul Reaver saga, you probably recognize the first three titles. However, the fourth one just got announced July 2nd, Soul Reaver, The Dead Shall Rise, a new graphic novel. That means, guys, that there is actually hope that they might redo the Soul Reaver saga, which would be absolutely fantastic. In fact, the whole idea of it gives me goosebumps. Let's check out the announcement. Here we are on IGN. This is where I first saw the announcement. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. The Legacy of Kane series, Soul Reaver series, has a loyal following, okay? In 2022, Crystal Dynamics did a survey with over 100,000 people responding, stating they want more content, more Soul Reaver content. And in fact, they wanted another game. This is not the content that everybody was hoping for, but it's content that we still want because of the fact that this is actually giving us a lot of hopes that there is another game coming. This is clear, clear evidence that Soul Reaver is still in Crystal Dynamics' mind, which is great news for us. So, as the first new Legacy of Kane content since 2003's Legacy of Kane Defiance, by the way, Legacy of Kane Defiance and Soul Reaver 2 are both on sale on Steam right now for like a dollar something. If you want to play them over again and get the memories back, I bought them. I'm going to run through them just for the hell of it. The Dead Shall Rise serves as a prequel to the Soul Reaver games. The book flashes back to Raziel's human past as a seraphim warrior and reveals how he became a vampire serving under Kane. The goal is to answer some long time running questions about the legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver mythos while introducing a new major vampire character with close ties to both Raziel and King. Fantastic, because this is paving the way for either A, a new story, or B, a remake, and then moving into a new story. If they get what they're looking for out of this and the response they're looking for, I can almost guarantee you a Kane, or a Kane game is coming, a Soul River game is coming. So with some more good news, there is a huge list of artists and writers and People that are involved with this, that have worked on everything from Rob Zombie to Star Wars to Call of Duty to Godzilla. So it's promising to be a great, great novel. Um, it's being written by Joshua Viola, um, as well as the products. He says that fans can expect a project infused with the same passion, working directly with creatives from Crystal Dynamics and reunited with former collaborators makes it a truly special endeavor. So which means that there's going to be a lot of the old flair in it, which is fantastic. It is going to be a crowdfunded project on Kickstarter and fans can sign up on back, BackerKit to be notified when uh, the campaign launches later on this year, which is great news as well. Now, so as we mentioned, this isn't the content that everybody was looking for, but it's something moving in the right direction. And as they're saying here, eh, with any luck, this won't be the only Legacy of Kane content that we can look forward to. Um, they mentioned again the survey that they brought up, because um, Embracer Group actually owns Crystal Dynamics and owns the IP, I guess. And they did the survey and had over 100,000 responses to it the survey in 2022 which is fantastic that's like a massive response and they said this with the the news of our survey shared across social and press platforms and really felt this was a great way to reignite the passion uh, passionate fan community with this legendary pc con console game series said phil rogers ceo of embracer's 12th operative group rest assured we hear you loudly and clearly and we'll continue to update on the what if possibilities ahead for legacy of kane in the future so that's what we've got to share today right now on Soul Reaver and the world of uh, Legacy of Kane. And hopefully we got some good news coming. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button. That way you never miss a video. And until next time, keep gaming.